Hello again and welcome back to The Darkest Dungeon. I apologise for the delay. It has been a few days since I played and it's been a few days since an episode and blah blah blah. I have not been very good. I've been... I was going to say I've not been very well, or maybe you were thinking I was going to say I've not been very well, but I have been fine. Just a little bit busy. Now then, Marie has achieved enlightenment. She is now enlightened and will only meditate for stress relief. There are various people that I'm considering putting in for various removal of quirks. We don't have anyone in at the moment. Uh, D has lethargy. These ones we can actually remove by sending people out with the grave robber, don't forget. Which is a possibility. Unfortunately, our grave robber does not go quite this high. Ooh, that could be a problem in future. Uh, recently, we tried to do a boss and failed miserably. We sent some people out with Ellie, of course, to help with the monetary collection, and that succeeded quite well. Um, and then we spent most of it <laughs> undoing the problem. So, uh, Jekri lost the lock of patience, never used it, don't really care. And then earlier on, at some point in the past, we tried to do the hag. Did we succeed? No. I think the first thing that happened is everything went horrible. It was a prophet. The prophet. We went into the ruins and we ran away because we're not very good. We could try again. Uh, the Prophet needs to hit the back, so we want to be taking someone like Snowlin. We want to be taking someone like Ed here in order to tank the damage. Probably want to take Marie, and we probably want to take Brian. That actually seems like a pretty good set of people to take. What's your major malfunction? Creeping cough here, I think is enough... Uh, what am I doing here? I think it's bad enough to actually get rid of it. Straight away. Hopefully we'll get rid of Lethargy as well. Not really a huge deal at this stage. Um, Rakuda's right, in for stress relief. Or we can go down here and take some of the new characters. Well, Imzum and Homesy uh, are the newest characters here. But in fact, all four of these people are new characters. And I wonder whether they're actually quite capable of working together. I feel they may be. Um, if we consider that Homesy is fine at the back, she can do the things that she needs to do. Erasmus is going to be starting in the third position and lunging forwards to the first position and then stepping back, as usual. That would require Dark Trojan to be able to cope in these two positions. But the problem that we'll have is the Imidism here will have to be in that position and then that position. Maybe what we actually want to be doing is putting Holmesy in the second position and Erasmus in the third position. Third position moving them both backwards and then... Uh, I'm just going to call him Adam. <laughs> Adam here is going to be okay at the back. Staying at the back. Uh, can we upgrade anything? Let's have a look at upgrades. Not quite. A few more of those. We could exchange some of them, but we're only going to get one of the two out. And at this stage, you know, we, we can probably just... We should upgrade Erasmus's damage and Dark Trojan's armor. But what we really want to do is get some cash. We could take Sejirus with us, but I don't think it's a good idea. Not with an Erasmus run. Uh, moving around with the Antiquarian is almost as bad as taking the Antiquarian in the first place. On top of the fact that you're taking the Antiquarian in the first place. So, it's not a great deal. Let's see what the options are, and then we'll have a look at the party layout that we want. Homesy, what's your problem? Bad humor. So max, less max HP for a vessel is not a huge deal, but it's still not great. We are looking at a level 3. That's not... There are no level 1 missions. Doesn't look... Oh, this one here. It's a short apprentice. Yeah, okay. This seems fine. So, we'll put you at the back. You at the front. You here and you here. But this is going to change immediately because we're going to give Erasmus the quick draw amulet. We'll um, sort by... Oh, fair enough. What's this? That looks good. Two speed is good. Stun skill, maybe. We're not really using stuns on these units. Oh, not on the DPS unit. Uh, mostly we're using for the stabby stab. Now, lunge is melee. Melee. So we don't really want the ranged trinket, although it would be good to be able to pick up uh, a melee equivalent for Erasmus. But we don't have one, so we'll take the quick draw charm. Charm. Where are we going, by the way? It's the wield. No, it's the cove, right? The cove, yeah. Is this a cove clever party. Do we have any sort of... It's not really, is it? Because we don't have any blight. And the thing about bleeds and 
melee damage is that they are not blight. <laughs> and there's a lot of uh, resistance to bleed, and there's a lot of resistance to just damage, i.e. protection. In the cove. We, we don't have anyone who can blight, if you see what I mean. I mean, well, Erasmus could with poison darts. But it, it's not enough. And having Adam here at the back is not necessary, but we want these two to be at the back ultimately. So we don't have a position at the back for Erasmus to do the poison darts from. In sort of impermanence. We could only do that temporarily. So I don't think that's a good idea. So I'm starting to think maybe it's not a good idea to go to the cove, but rather to go to literally anywhere else with this party. Which means, instead of that, maybe we just try to take a a DPS heavy, like Marie. Um, we want Marie for the... Uh, let's try this again. Let's do this again. Marie is going at the back. We did want to take Brian, but we could just take two. Right? But these buggers can't move backwards, can they? So if you want to get them underneath the falling damage... You've got to move forwards to do so. That could be good. I mean, uh, Crusaders here are kind of useless from anything but the first two positions. The only one you can do here is Holy Lance, which gets you to the first two positions. And also we'd need a healer. We can't take Bagel. We'd want to have... Or Pete. Wait, where's Pete? Oh, he's in the thing. I have kind of ruined myself. <laughs> put myself out of a, a job here. All right. Let's go for a short... Let's take... Uh... Sir Jairus. Because I think Ellie's too high level. Well, she's in for drinking anyway, so... It's not going to work, but we'll take Sir Jairus. As a sort of a... Bringing up the... Money that we get. We can't take Holmesy and Viz. But we can still take Holmesy. In fact, Holmesy prefers to be in that position, so you can swap. Uh... We can take... Erasmus again. We could do we can do this, right? Ah, oh, but they're so low level. Maybe we take Zeke instead. Zeke and Megistos. You go there. Is that your position? Yes. Megistos, you can come as well. Good, good, good. Uh, Mr. Steve, sure. So that seems like a sensible party. It's a short mission, so we can get out quickly. We can get as much goodies as we can and leave, which is the idea. And we can pass some time. Just, just doing like letting these people uh, heal up in the next week. So that seems like a good idea. It's the wield. So we're gonna want. We don't have anyone who can cure blights and bleeds, which is a bit of a problem. But hopefully Zeke's actual, you know, ability to heal will make up for it. I don't think this is that good. Blight and bleed resist could be pretty good actually. So we will take it. But I don't necessarily want to take that when we could take something else. Uh. Like, that's already minus 20% stress damage, so we could take something that adds stress damage and still be better at it. That seems good. I mean, we've got a lot of HP and a lot of oh, a bit of extra protection now. Um, how is our armor no protection, by the way? Whatever. Um, we have some of these. More max HP, less speed. That's fine. We might as well take a stun amulet or something like that. Something that improves our stun skill, because... If there's anything we're going to do with this unit, it's probably stunning. Stun resist, quick draw charm. I know we have one. We have one, right? Honestly, I started to think that I should try and remember what these things look like so I can stop doing this at the start of every game. Or Eldritch. You could take damage versus Eldritch. Because you're going to be the principal damage dealer, especially with the repost action. And then Zeke is going to do the usual buff to healing. The Vestal flavor buff to healing. And then Sir Jair, uh, yeah, Sir Jairus is going to take, like, <laughs> who knows. Less stress damage, less death, uh, bothered by that. Um, heals received, more accuracy, that could be good. I mean, we do tend to use this unit to do a stabby, and it'd be great if it hit. In fact, it can be quite powerful, so we should maybe do that. Reducing everyone's speed is not always a great idea, though. Uh... Maybe this? That seems good. Now we're down to four speed, which is pretty bad, but... Just go. Who cares? Uh, why are there so many food available? I'll take eight. An eight. 
try and spend as little as possible in order to get as much of a profit as possible afterwards. The wield may have a um, chest or two in it, so we'll take some, we'll take some uh, of those as well. A couple of, we want to make sure that we survive. That's take up a lot of inventory space. We can start to throw these away as we get further on and we're less worried about it. We want to make sure that we're not bogged down by these things at the start. So as we move on, we can start to throw away things in favour of the loot that we've been bringing home. Ah, delicious water. Stuff of life. Uh, yes. So we're hoping... Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Yes, I was going to say, we're hoping to find curios that su supplement the low amount of torches and food that I brought. It's, it's cool, Mr. Steve. Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing gonna be alright. Still nothing. We're exploring 90% of rooms. We did get a scout. These are happening more often, which is fun. I appreciate it. Don't forget to use the antiquarian to ensure that we also get the antiques. So there's a battle. It's fine. It's going to be difficult to hit the back with this setup, I think. Maybe we try and stun it. Oh, we can't even do that. We can hit it. It has a high dodge. There is actually one of these that reduces dodge, but uh, that's not it. That was a great hit, though. Can't hit that as well. We should probably therefore concentrate on bringing things forwards. Uh, or increasing our dodge. Plus five. Probably would have been worth investing a bit of cash into this party, but... Kind of already done that. <laughs> we can't hit the back at all, which is really a major mistake on my part. But what we can do is not try and knock back one of these. Maybe that one. Stun it, but it brings the profit, the the madman, into range, which is now I think about it a great idea. It does move us forwards as well, but these two are interchangeable in terms of what they can do from their positions. And maybe our best bet here is to make sure that we stun these, because we know that they're all going to get a go one after the other. And if they're going to get a go one after the other, it's best if they don't all manage to concentrate their fire on one unit. We didn't get to activate Riposte, but I'm pretty sure that Doomsday doesn't trigger Riposte. That would. So that's a shame, but okay. You're bleeding, but not rabid, so that's fine. And now we get to find out what sort of order they will actually be going in. Also bleeding. Bit of stress, no rabies. Please don't focus down one fucking unit again. So it turns out they would all go first, <laughs> which is, hmm, unfortunate. But now we get to basically beat the crap out of them. So yeah, deal with it. Now I'm going to start activating Riposte. Just on this. Who cares? But we want to make sure we're doing more damage than that, because that's not enough damage. Uh, now we stab it, it dodged. You've got high accuracy and it's still dodged. Let's just shit. What's the matter with you? Smite. Motherfucker. This is... Look at how much dodge these have got. It's no wonder. Crikey. Crit yourself, not the person who needs it. Whatever. self in. Yes. I'm so glad I set up that riposte because every time Megasos gets hit... The thing that hit Megistos gets hit back, which is great. This is actually a really difficult fight, it turns out, simply because of the dodge. The dodge on these units is outrageous. Do it again. Good. Now everything's much closer to death, which is fine. I know you bleed. Oh, I did say we'd use these early, so. Oh, it's already gone. Fuck. <laughs> Bugger. One dead. Good. No corpse, because it's a dog. Dogs don't leave corpses, because, you know, if you met dogs, it's just common sense, it's science. Don't worry about it. If they're going to keep doing these dodges, I'm going to be uh, in a bad way. We'll straight up heal Sergiris in this situation because he'd lost quite a lot of HP from that bleed. Please stop missing. A crit actually makes it that much more palatable that we started off this particular dungeon so badly. Repost? No. As I uh, believed, the repost does not get activated by doing so. And not killing this so quickly is turning out to be a big deal. 
It's got such an amount of dodge though, and we didn't bring anything to counteract it. But this is this is the wield. I mean, I'm not how, sure how much I was supposed to have expected uh, that. Come on, <laughs> seriously. Uh, yeah. I mean, keeping people alive at this stage is basically trivial. Zeke's got a great amount of healing potential. Unfortunately, what is not easy is keeping people sane. And that's where all our problems are going to turn out to be pretty quickly. Not Another bleed is okay. I mean, I'm wondering whether it's better to keep up the dodge buff from the Antiquarian, or to use the Antiquarian to do damage to try and reduce the amount of shit that's happening to us in the first place. It's a bit difficult to know. Four damage for one round. That's 12 damage there, so you can bandage up. That, that went badly, I'll be honest. But we can sort of hope that future encounters will not be quite like that. Like this has... They still have a lot of dodge. It's not quite as much, right? Invinigorating Vapors. No one's going to resist that until they actually flip out. We might as well... Excuse me, we might as well leave Megistos at the front. Yeah, we'll activate Repost. Oh, for fuck's sake. It does activate it, yeah. It activates it whether you get hit or not. Whether you actually make the hit or not, which is fine, but... I'm, I, I'm not so much a fan of stunning them, unless you can actually outright kill. Not stunning, surprising them. Unless you can outright kill one, it actually just causes you to concentrate a lot of damage in a situation where your healer can't do anything about it. Because if if they didn't go in all in the clump like this, there's a chance that our healer gets the opportunity to heal damage during their turn. But as it stands, that is literally impossible right now. So, yeah, having a surprise is only valuable if you can take one out and completely stop it from having a go, which is not impossible, it can happen. It just hasn't. <laughs> uh, I guess we party heal now. Everyone's a little bit low. That's your job, Zeke, so don't worry about it. That's why you're here. I kind of want to keep ourselves alive. Maybe we can, maybe we can stun this? Maybe. Yeah, it was a reasonable chance. It was slightly less than 50-50, I think. But even that's a pretty decent chance in these games. So much damage and bleeds. It's painful. Uh, That's everybody, right? Maybe that's good. We could crush it. It will do some damage. Like a considerable amount of damage. This is activate one more round. So we'll re- Oh, that was really good. We'll reapply the riposte on this turn. We dodged it and killed it, so that's also very good. This is a problem sometimes, but not necessarily right now. I, I choose to believe that my vigilance in making those dodges buffed caused most people to avoid the damage on that last attack, and us to kill from the riposte, nevertheless. So now we activate riposte again. It does do some damage, but this has got a lot, so it's not really a meaningful quantity. We wanted to make sure that we had the riposte available for when it does something like that. Uh, Mr. Steve is almost guaranteed to go crazy on probably even this fight, if that thing keeps doing those. And provided we can't actually, you know, win. We can actually de-accuracy things with the debuff here. Yeah, it's going to happen. Not quite. Although we're nearly there. Look, 96. One more of those. That's it. GG. Oh, we crit it. That's actually a very unexpected. I wanted to make sure it didn't get another go. Give Mr. Steve a little bit of respite. But uh, we did fine. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Now we only have to explore 90% of rooms. We got a key back for doing that, which is cool. So, not that one, basically. Uh, at some point, we get to leave and hope. We basically hope that there's not too much more combat. <laughs> he says. Immediately, this shit happens. Stressful incantation on the person who is literally guaranteed to flip out. 
as a result. Please be good. Paranoid. Didn't expect that. The walls close in. Well, um, the shadows not what I meant. What I meant was, I didn't anticipate this when getting the trinkets out. Because if I... Uh, I was kind of considering... Oh, thanks. Um, giving someone uh, a virtue... Uh, trinket to make sure that they have a better chance of being virtuous when that happens, but seriously. Well, we got a, a crit from that, so that's for sure. It will not weaken your spirit, by the way. That's a, that's a lie given to children. Another crit on that. That's down a bit, but it's too little too late, Mr. Steve. I'm sorry. I believe that will cause one more to show up. What I'm doing here is making sure not to attack this. Until we get rid of this, because this one can be so bad, basically. We should have set up repost. Always set up repost. What's the matter with you? This is a problem. This combat's turning out particularly difficult. I have to do this because everyone's got some. Like, everyone's so close to death. It seems better to keep them slightly away from death's door than to completely heal one of them and have the risk that somebody else ends up in the in dire straits. Right, that's on, so we'll be dealing damage a lot more as a result of that. You can shut up about your bleed, I don't care. Please continue to significantly damage these creatures. Yes, do that. Excellent. It did move you. Really not bothered. I'll accept it. Chill out, Mr. Steve. Not a huge amount of damage. Debuff is less speed. Kind of okay. We can actually move ourselves forward one. And try and stun one of these units. This is probably going to kill it if we hit it. I mean, it's definitely going to kill it. The probability was in hitting it. It moves the corpse back as well, which is also really good. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Sometime, you have to allow me... ...to heal you. Or at least eat something. Big slime. A crit. Perfect. I'm so glad you've been avoiding all those heals, Mr. Steve, because honestly, what would we have done? <laughs> with, on, with you on death's door, everyone's obviously going to be that much more accurate. In future, retribution is back on. We have to now heal Mr. Steve completely, because you're going to die. And we get another one of these enemies, which does my fucking head in. We cannot... I'm reasonably convinced that we can't beat this because of that constant reproduction of that unit. Two dodges. We could lose Mr. Steve here if we're not very careful. At least he accepted that. If he hadn't accepted that, I'd have left. I'd be out. Done. Gone. Let's try and keep that one stunned. Oh just alive, I guess. That's not a big deal. Three three damage is okay. Maybe we can lose the accuracy on this. But I'm not quite sure how to deal with this. Because if I kill this one, that might make a new one. I think you need two of these to merge to make one of these. So I think if we kill this one, which is what I'm aiming for... Oh, thank God for that. Um, oh, shush. <laughs> then we stand to keep, kill this one much more easily. This is really bad, though. <laughs> I mean, we might have to just leave simply because Mr. Steve is has gone crazy. Nothing's hit Megistos, despite all the retribution plays. Crush is going to do 6 to 11. And retribution will do 2 to 3. It's not enough. We have to do this damage. That was a brilliant dodge. Just in time. Oh, now you fucking go for him. This is pissing me off. If I'd done that then, if I'd done the retribution like I was going to, that would have been great. Now Mr. Steve is fully healed because he stopped whinging about the fucking concept. Where did that go? I've no idea. 
Alright, let's let's do retribution again. Retribution, crush, crush. We're gonna be at this for such a long time if we don't uh for fuck's sake. <laughs> If we don't start dealing damage to that thing. And over time, they're just going to start to get ornery about the fact that we're taking so long to do it. 33% protection. It's like, surely I should be... Oh, I'm out. There is no way we can beat that, because it's just going to keep creating more and more of these. These two will merge and make one of those. That one will create more of these. It's just not going to happen. We have to get out of here. Great, brilliant. Shut up and leave. Before someone dies. Get out. The sin is not in being outmatched, but in failing to recognize it. We're out. Too many things went wrong. We have to escape. It's important to recognize when you have to escape. Um, we've actually picked up a shitload of money in it, despite it. Um, but, yeah. Those fights, if you are not doing sufficient damage to stop them from continuing that cycle, they will continue that cycle. And that is unfortunately the it's the way of it. Now, I assume that there's some um, some strategies that I have for fuck's sake, uh, yet to understand or read about. That's entirely possible. But the I don't know them. Of the I, I, I'm wondering, for example, maybe if you keep the the two small ones acres. apart, they will never merge together to make a big one. And then you then you have to keep the um, corpse of the big one in between the two small ones. Which means the small one's going to be at the back. And we couldn't hit the back. So we were so unprepared for that. Everything was too wrong to even try that. So... Hmm. Ah, glass of water, don't mind. I mean, everyone else is better now. <laughs> so, we we sent a few people to the slaughter. Unfortunately, they're going to have to stay in that situation. Well, maybe Mr. Steve can meditate or something. Just to, um, I think he can only meditate, in fact. To get rid of the, the affliction. But everyone else is just going to have to hang out. Over time, I think it would just go down slowly anyway, because they've not been out on a thing. Proof stress reduction while meditating. Uh, but also will only meditate, so there. Um, good, well, that'll do it for this episode. We tried. We did get some money, but not very much money. Uh, I suppose in the next episode, we try again. In fairness, we did take a slightly under-leveled party with under-leveled equipment, but the whole point was to get some money so that we could level those things up. So, in future, I think we'll have to try and pick the right party for the right job. We could take Ellie for example, and use Ellie to level up some of the others at level 3 to get them to level 4 to try a boss. Uh, but <laughs> we'll just keep going. We'll see how we do, but thank you for watching this episode. I hope you will join me for the next episode uh, and we'll decide what to do then, but until then, I'll see you.